Meteorologist Chris Haddings here. Just want to give you a quick uh, outlook as to what's going to happen with the snow later today and especially into tonight. Impacts from this mainly looking at medium impacts for uh, slick snow covered roads. Also blowing snow medium impacts of that, especially you see around the Buffalo area. Also along I 80, Rock Springs over toward Juan Sutter. And cold temperatures can be a little colder behind this system, but nothing we haven't seen before in January in Wyoming. So looking at the impacts, this will be an Alberta clipper moving from north to south across the area. So Starting off in the northern part of the state, during the afternoon, especially the mid-late afternoon hours, anywhere, I'd say the southern two-thirds of the state, roughly midwest, over toward Thermopolis and on to the south, you should stay mainly dry through the daylight hours coming in there after dark, and Rock Springs fully holding off until later this evening, especially after midnight. And the maximum impacts, mainly an evening event up north, more of a late, a late night event, maybe early tomorrow morning event across central and southern Wyoming. Some probabilistic stuff I want to show you. This is a chance of one inch of snow or more across the area. Highest chance in Lander, also uh, Casper, Rock Springs, Cody. Now what do you notice in common there? So it's going to be more like this. You're going to have decent upslope against the Cody foothills as well as Casper. Also over Rock Springs, the higher, little higher hills to the south of town here. And especially around Lander with the Wind Rivers here. This looks like more of a jet driven thing here. But a decent chance of seeing at least an inch around Buffalo. Now, the likely uh, highest amount we could see, Lander will be the big winner there. Again, you can see four inches. Maybe if things set up right, you could see maybe as much as six, maybe eight or nine inches across the higher elevations of the uh, Wind River Range. About two inches around Cody, Rock Springs, Casper, as well as around the Buffalo KC area along I-25. So the most likely accumulation across the area, highest amount, the lower elevations, two to three around Lander, places like Buffalo, Casper, Rock Springs, Cody, about one to two inches, generally an inch or less across the rest of the area, but get your drinks ready. Drink. Again, banded snow. Get a snow band to set out. Some of these could be a little bit higher. So this is the most likely amount, but don't be surprised if localized areas can see a little bit more than this. And you can see our usual resources there for weather, road conditions, and our webcam spiral. Be safe, everybody. Have a good day.